So what are the best mods for a diesel engine? It's fair to say there is so many different diesel engines out there. So we're just gonna flag up a couple of the best mods you can do to pretty much any diesel engine and you'll see significant power gains and really enhance your enjoyment of your car. So the first most obvious mod to do to any diesel engine is to get it remapped. So the computer in the car controls the delivery of fuel. Diesel engines, they work very differently to petrol engines. A petrol engine uses a spark to start the ignition and the burn and the explosion within the cylinder, pushing the cylinder down, driving the crank, driving the wheels and putting the power onto the road. In a diesel engine, everything is squished. And as you squish something, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. So this fuel and air gets so squished and so hot, it will spontaneously combust. And that really is why diesel engines are so efficient, because all of the fuel is at that point of burning when that burn starts. You get a good clean flame front bursting out within the combustion chamber, pushing the piston down. It's also why diesel engines tend to operate at lower RPMs. They're working under much higher pressures. They're over-engineered to deal with those high pressures. And as a result, diesel engines are extremely reliable. But you'll often find that manufacturers have dialed back the performance significantly in the computer. So just by changing the delivery of the fuel and the boost from the turbo, you can make significant power gains. So there may be some other mods required to fully maximize that. But on most turbo diesel engines, if you get it remapped, you're looking at about 20 to 30% more power and you'll even get better fuel economy because the car's making more power. So if you've got a diesel engine, that's a massive benefit and it really does make remapping a no brainer. Now, not all diesel engines can be mapped. So there are a few there where the ECUs are locked or they're old or th there's other issues preventing them from being remapped. So if that's the case, I would go for a piggyback box. So a good quality piggyback box, not the cheap ones that you see on eBay that are little more than a resistor that just dumps more fuel into the engine. By doing that, you will make more power, but it'll be a lot more sooty and you'll be clogging up your DPF and causing all sorts of other problems because you're basically forcing the engine to run rich. So getting a proper tuning box, it will interface between the components in the car and it will act as the ECU. So it takes a signal from the engine. It will force the engine to change the parameters that it's working at to extract that little bit more performance from the car. And often a remap or a piggyback ECU will take the RPM range up slightly and it will deliver a much broader power band at the lower end through to the top end. So that's a really good way of getting more power out of your car. So the second mod involves a little bit more work and expense. So we're talking now about the fuel supply supply to the engine and inside the diesel engine fuel pressures approach and sometimes exceed 30,000 psi so you can see on the screen now the cross section of the injectors in a direct injection diesel engine and this is typically where you will find a restriction after you've applied a lot of tuning now the standard fuel system supplied by most manufacturers is pretty good you can generally get about 20 to 30 percent more power before even thinking about having to do something about the fuel system but what are your choices and options when it comes to uprating your fuel system? What are the components that need to be looked at? So that means uprating the fuel pump that delivers the fuel to those injectors. And you may even need to uprate the injectors so they're capable of flowing more fuel into the engine. So by putting more fuel into the engine, you also need to put more air into the engine and the remap will take the turbo to the next level and really extract as much power as possible, but you don't wanna be pushing that turbo too hard. It's worth noting that turbos have safe limits. That's where they retain the factory reliability. And a lot of tuners can push well beyond those safe limits. And things work fine for a few months, but then you start to get the notorious whining and noises coming from the turbo. And then you end up having to replace the turbo itself. So rather than just hope your existing OEM turbo will hold out, it's worth investing in a decent upgrade to begin with. 
so replacing the turbo makes a lot of sense and there's a lot of aftermarket turbos that just bolt on so we would call these hybrid turbos where a standard turbo casing is used and the internal blades have been uprated maybe they're bigger sizes or a slightly different profile and by choosing the characteristics of those you can change very much the nature of the engine and where the engine is producing the power so turbo upgrades will be the next step up for tuning your diesel engine so get it remapped last i know i've done it in the wrong order but most people will get the car remapped love the extra power and then look at the other mods that are available so i would say with this knowledge in mind either get it remapped and just stick with it and live with it and you'll have a great car 20 30 percent more power that's certainly not to be sniffed at but getting that turbo change will take you to that next level swapping in a hybrid or even swapping out for a, a high power turbo so companies like the Volkswagen Audi group will produce a car that offers 140 brake horsepower and 170 brake horsepower with the same two litre engine and one of the biggest differences in that is the turbo they've used so dropping a 170 turbo onto the 140 is a straight swap in most cases so you're just using parts that would normally have been supplied from the factory but you're using the best performance parts you can and really extracting as much power as you can from the engine so that's a nice easy power upgrade but there's a lot of aftermarket suppliers that can offer bespoke turbos custom built turbos with the full fitting kit so it comes with the manifold all of the lines all the pipes all the feeds everything you need to get that set up and then once it's fitted all you've got to do is get the mapping set up so the car's computer now knows how to deal with all the extra air the turbo is pushing in and it can pump in a little bit more fuel so that really is the easiest way of tuning a diesel engine to get the mapping sorted to upgrade the turbo and the fueling and it really is as simple as that because of their low rpm nature there's not an awful lot you can do to diesels but thankfully just by doing those few mods you can make significant power gains and really enhance your enjoyment of your car so we've really just scratched the surface when it comes to diesel tuning there's lots of other mods that are worth considering but they don't make as substantial a difference as the mods that we've highlighted here we've got other items coming up on intercoolers differentials oil coolers and exhaust headers where we'll take these items apart and just look at the merits and pros and cons of fitting these to your turbo diesel engine so thanks for watching stay tuned if you haven't subscribed please do so and pick that like button because it really helps us to get out there thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video